And now speaking of Middle East envoy Jason Greenblatt and his recent criticism of the PA's pay for slay stipends, we're joined by Nitzana Darshan Leitner, the president of the Shurata Din Israel Law Center. Uh, Nitzana, thank you so much for coming in today. My pleasure. All right, so first of all, you know, let, let's go right to the heart of the question that Greenblatt was asking. You know, why are other countries, uh, you know, accepting this? Why are they not putting their foot down and saying, you know, this is, this is unacceptable? Because when you talk about other countries, you refer to European countries, perhaps. Um, but we know that uh, European countries will do anything they want, anything they can in order to keep funding the Palestinian Authority. They know that their money is going to help the prisoners who are sitting in the Israeli jail, to pay stipends to the families of the suicide bombers, and yet they will continue funding the Palestinian Authority because they need uh, an interest in an international policy, they need to have a foreign policy, and the only foreign policy which is sexy enough for Europe to get involved with is the Middle East. They want to be involved in the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, and their only way to get involved is by paying money. But can't they have it both ways? I mean, can't they say, okay, we will pay you this money, but, it, you know, and, and direct where that money goes but and then know, actually follow but through? But you know that money is fungible, right? So they can fund projects in, in the West Bank and the Palestinian Authority and help them build their infrastructure. But in the end of the day, the Palestinians can take this money and pay the prisoners. If you really want to fight this, you have to totally cut the funding. So um, go like Taylor Force Act or Israel's uh, tax at least, route. Yeah, yeah. But you know what's funny about the Taylor Force Act? Is they, despite the fact that uh, the United States cut down their budget in half, now they're trying to raise $50 billion to pay the Palestinian but that's, Authority. But that's based on, but that's the economic stimulus package, which only goes into effect if the Palestinians come to the table to make right. a deal with Israel. Yeah. Which, which, will, which we all know which, is Which we we'll all believe that they will, and since then, they will stop paying the prisoners and the stipends to the families of the sure. survivors. We all believe that. Unfortunately, they, it, it, it's in there. What Israel understands, and this is why they can't do so much about it, but what the U.S. does not understand, and you're going to understand, is that the Palestinian Authority will ever continue pay stipends to the families of the suicide bombers, will ever continue to support these jihadists. They cannot do without. If, if Mahmoud Abbas wants to keep his head beyond his shoulders, he has to keep paying them. So you don't think... So you know, because my next question was going to be, why don't you think that there's a grassroots movement, maybe, you know, from the, the people on the, at the lowest rung of the ladder in the Palestinian Authority who are saying, you know, where are my stipends? I, I didn't commit a terrorist attack. And where, where's my money? I'm living in poverty. So, why don't we have, you know, kind of a, an uprising of sorts? Uh, but you're saying that it's quite is, the opposite. No, there is a, a choice in the Palestinian Authority. It's an open society. Everyone who wants to become a jihadist or a martyr is, uh, is welcome to do it. The opposite, the Palestinian Authority incites and encourages others to go and carry terror attacks. So uh, the people, there are some voices, uh, almost unheard of, that um, uh, call to stop the terrorism, but the majority of the people uh, rely on these payments. They, 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 a, lot of, a lot of terrorists go and carry out terror attacks because of these payments. And the Palestinian Authority not only uh, uh, paying in this sense, but just two days ago, we received, in Shradadin, we received a huge judgment against the Palestinian Authority just for the mere fact that they are paying uh, stipends to the families of the suicide bombers. The court found them responsible for all the terror attacks during the years of the Intifada because you cannot uh, um, take responsibility and not pay, meaning if you pay the terrorists, you are responsible for them, and they don't care. The same in the United States. So I actually want to talk about that then, you know, because we reported on that recently. Is there, is there anything beyond lip service that can be done with that, with that court ruling? You know, because the Israeli court says, okay, you're responsible, now what? Is the Palestinian well, authority no, ever going to pay? Gonna, is yeah, it, is uh, well, they are not coming and paying, that's for sure. They did litigate this specific case for close to 20 years. Um, but in the end, after they lose, they don't come and pay. What we're going to do is actually go after the tax money that Israel collects for the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. And we are going to go to the Treasury in Israel and say, we have a final judgment against the Palestinian Authority. We are entitled to this money, not the Palestinian Authority. This is one of the ways we are going to enforce the judgment. 
And what was what was the final settlement that uh, that the was The settlement did at? not come yet. Okay. Uh, it's only in liability. But but note that the court specifically said that one of the reasons to impose responsibility on the Palestinian Authority is the stipends that they are paying. They say if you come and approve the acts of the terrorists, even retroactively by paying their money, you're actually responsible. And the Palestinian Authority, unfortunately, uh, will not take in this into consideration, uh, although I'm sure they're shocked how the little support they gave the terrorists before the attacks and the money they're paying them after the attack turns in the end of the day to hundreds of millions sure. of dollars of judgment against them. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe uh, I believe the number just in 2019 was already 130 million or 300 you know, million dollars in 2019. Yes, 2019. Oh, it was way off. <laughs> yeah, no, they they well, increase it. Sure. All from right. Year well, that's year. well, that's a shocking number, uh, but I'm glad that something is being done about it and that there are people like you fighting the good fight. Nitsana, thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure again.